This is my APC Smart UPS 1500. I had modified this in a fairly lengthy 10 part video series earlier. If you're interested, go ahead and give that a look. But uh, today I'm just going to make a short video on one of the features that most good quality UPSs have, and that is synchronization. So, what is synchronization and why is it important in a UPS? Well, the power here that we get in uh, North America is 60 Hz AC and a typical outlet will be 120 volts AC. That means that the power oscillates sinusoidally between about 170 volts positive and 170 volts negative. That gives you 120 volts RMS. And it does that 60 times a second to make 60 hertz. Um, 240 volt power is just uh, two phases of this 120 volt power, um, 180 degrees out of phase. And uh, that effectively doubles the voltage to make 240 volts. So when it's synchronized, what it means for a UPS here is that when the wall power is at zero volts, the output of this UPS is at zero volts. When the wall power is at 170 volts, the output of this is at 170 volts. When wall power is at minus 170 volts, this is at minus 170 volts. If it was 180 degrees out of phase, then you would get a 240 volt differential between the output of this and your wall power. If it's perfectly in phase, then there'd be a zero volt differential between this and your wall power and that's what you want. So basically if you have a load that is being powered off of the wall or UPS and it switches between UPS power and wall power either from wall power to UPS power or from the UPS back to wall power either way you would get a discontinuity in that output voltage waveform if they were not perfectly synchronized. So if the uh, wall power is at 170 volts and this UPS happens to be uh, 180 degrees out of phase, for example. That means that uh, when the relay inside this unit switches over, relays back here, switch over, it would uh, end up giving a discontinuity of uh, um, 170 volts times 2, which could be a pretty nasty load transient if you're powering an electric motor or uh, capacitors, that sort of thing. It would make a, a bad voltage surge, which uh, could potentially damage things, but uh, most likely not. Um, most electronics and such are made to handle that sort of event. But in any case, it uh, is a very nice feature to have in a UPS so that it can cleanly switch over between uh, a battery power and wall power. And uh, this particular one will synchronize the inverter output to wall power. Now when it changes from wall power to battery power, it's not that big of a problem because you can just start the inverter up um, mid-cycle and uh, keep it in phase, but when it switches back, that's where the difficulty comes in. The uh, UPS has to remain synchronized to the wall power at all times, so that when the wall power does come back, it resynchronizes up without adjusting the frequency too much. It can speed up and down a few hertz, but it doesn't want to speed up and down drastically. And, uh, and then it'll switch back over to wall power nice and clean. So I'm going to uh, put the camera down here on my tripod and uh, demonstrate what that means. Okay, here's the test setup that I'm going to be using. I have uh, this variable auto transformer that can adjust the output voltage between 0 volts and 280 volts. I have that plugged into my 120 volt uh, wall outlet. And I have my UPS plugged into the output of this variable auto transformer so I can adjust the voltage going to the UPS. The UPS is here with the cover off so you can see the guts. And I have a battery bank over there that the UPS is connected to just so that I can operate off of battery power. So I'll leave the, uh, the camera here for the most part. This multimeter over here is just reading the output voltage of my transformer. So if I crank the voltage down, it goes down. If I crank it up, it goes up. So that's just the voltage that the UPS is getting into it. This multimeter, on the other hand, is connected to... Uh, one lead is plugged into wall power over here, and the other lead is plugged into the output of the UPS. So basically what I'm doing with this multimeter is taking a look at the phase differential between my wall power and my UPS. So I demonstrated this earlier in, a, in a, an older video, my back UPS video, but uh, if I turn this down far enough it will click and it just switched to a different tap on the transformer. 105 volts is what's going into the UPS. The UPS thinks that's too low, so it's switching to a different tap on this transformer 
to uh, boost the voltage up to uh, back up to around 120 volts. Turn down again and switch to another tap. And if I turn down too far, it's going to switch to battery power. So now it's running off of battery power. So at this point, my input voltage is 82 volts, and you can see that the voltage between uh, one phase of the wall and the output of the UPS is nice and stable. It's still at about 125 volts. However, as I turn the voltage down more, this voltage is going to go up. Um, that's just due to kind of how I have this thing hooked up. Um, I'm not going to explain that, but what's important is that the uh, voltage is stable. You can see that it's uh, just under 60 hertz and uh, the output of the UPS is perfectly in phase with the wall power. Now I'm at about 64 volts input to the UPS. If I turn this down a little bit more, down to uh, 50 volts or so, now if you take a look at this meter here, you can see that it is slowly going down. And that's because the output of the UPS is just ever so much slower in, uh, than 60 hertz than the wall outlet. So, do a range hold on this. <clears throat> and this is going to oscillate up and down, up and down in voltage. That's because the, uh, the two sine waves, the sine wave coming out of the wall and the sine wave coming out of this UPS, are not perfectly in phase. With an input voltage of 54 volts, it is not able to uh, properly read that input voltage signal, and it is not synchronizing to mains. And this voltage is going to go up and down, up and down. If I put the voltage up a little bit, 62 volts, now it's nice and stable again. The UPS is synchronizing to the mains frequency. And if I turn the voltage back up to normal, it cleanly switches over. So that's just a little demonstration of what uh, synchronized to mains does on a good quality UPS. Uh, this is going to be put into context a little bit later in my, uh, my next project when I get around to it. But uh, I just wanted to uh, demonstrate a little bit on what sync to mains does. So if you're looking for a UPS, that's a good feature to look for. Alright, thanks for watching.